Let's go to the home page. Let's go to import. Let's go into journal entries. Drop files. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to use the template file in this case. So let me open up the template file. Let's do journal entries and zoom in. Okay, so when you build a journal entry, there's a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. First of all, strongly recommend that you use uh, their template instead of having your own random thing. But it's possible that you're going to have your own uh, random spreadsheet for your for your uh, for your journal entries. Because generally speaking, most of these journal entries are being exported maybe from some other app or they're building their own. They're being built their own way. That's fine. So if you're going to build your own. You need to have reference number. You need to have account. You need to have debit, credit, right? But debit and credit is going to be a plus minus. Okay, so you need to have debit, credit, and you need to have. Uh, that's all you need to have. So these are the ones that we need to in order to import. So we only need to this, and then separate. You can have memo. You can have name. And in this case, class, location, uh, name would be entity, and that's it, okay? So let's say we're gonna make this journal entry number one. And account, let's do repairs and maintenance. The second one, let's do office supplies. The third one, let's do, let's look at the chart of accounts in there so that way we're not making up stuff. So let's go to the home page, export accounts, export data. So let's do create time and let's do 01, 01, 2010 to today, 11, 21, 2019. Okay, so we'll work with these. So billable expense income, and then we also got Chase, perfect. But you have to make sure that you, you have the actual right account. So we'll have that, and then we have Chase. What else we got here? Bank charges and fees. All right, that works for me. So we got, so we're using the actual accounts in our chart of accounts. So let's do here negative 300 for credit. Let's do negative 500 for credit. Let's do positive 800 for debit. Let's do 100 and negative 100. So everything here needs to sum to zero because it needs to be balanced. And then we can have memo one, memo two, and bring all that stuff down, okay? That's good enough. That's my own spreadsheet without using their template. Of course, I welcome you to use a template, but if you want to build your own, that's totally okay. Actually, let's do two journal entries while we're at it. So let's add two journal entries in the same import. So this will be reference number two. And let's do advertising and marketing for this one. Okay, so it will be negative 400 and negative 400 and positive 400. So these are two different journal entries. Now, of course, I'm missing the date, but I'm going to show you um, how to enter these things in TPI if they're not in your spreadsheet, because you don't have to have it on the spreadsheet. You can actually manually enter it in TPI. So that will also show you one dynamic of importing that's really valuable, which is when every time you have sort of a fixed variable in there. So let me save this as journal entry one. And then let's go to TPI, home, import, journal entries. And right here, journal entry number one, open. So several people are, are, are commenting that QuickBooks should have import built in. I agree. I actually... As much as I love right networks and TPI, I don't think TPI should exist. I think this should be something that Intuit does 
internally, but it's obviously that they don't care about it and that's not what they're looking at. And if they ever add an import feature, and as you can see, it's only gonna be in the advanced edition. So many of us are gonna have to resort to a tool like this to be able to solve this issue. All right, so reference number, there we go. So import column ref, transaction date. This is the one that we're not gonna get from a column. So we're gonna type this one as a default value. So let's say 11, 21, 2019. So you can actually type your default values. Let's do account. Amount is gonna be this debit credit line. Description is gonna be memo. Entity is gonna be name. And I think that's it. We didn't use classes or locations. So notice what I did, right? I actually manually put in under default value data that's not on the spreadsheet that I'm forcing it at the time of the import. So let me go ahead and click on preview and import. So you get a preview of what that looks like. Import. All right, so repairs and maintenance is doesn't exist. Let's see. Let's go to accounting, chart of accounts. Ah, it's got an ampersand, not an and. That's the thing about importing, it needs to be identical. So I'll fix it here on the fly. So again, you can I can go back and fix it on the spreadsheet or I can fix it here on the fly. Then I go to import, yes. And beautiful thing, look at that. All right, so let's go back into QuickBooks and let's look at the journal entry. And there it is. So if you actually have uh, like a weird payroll company or some other company that has financial data and they export uh, things in a sort of journal entry format, as long as you can start tweaking that export to for TPI to start using it, you can really speed up your data entry process by importing journal entries. I know virtually every restaurant or retail client that I've had that's using a, a POS system that doesn't talk to QuickBooks directly. What we do is we adapt their spreadsheet. Sometimes we have to even do a little, like a little macro and, and convert it into a format that, uh, that QuickBooks can import. So I'll open up that format again. You see what it looks like. This is what it needs to look like. Reference number, account, debit credit, amount in debit credit format, memo name, class location, you can add that. And, and you can also add the date here. The example I did is I forced the date in there, but, um, but that's how it is. So I know accountants get really excited about importing journal entries. That's, that's a particularity of us accountants where we are like that. We get very